Hey, yo. This is for Libra. For some reason, I feel like this is going to go into something about diplomacy. I don't know. But diploma diplomacy came out, being diplomatic. Uh, relationships, get a fair deal, balance, cooperation, and your partners. Y'all, I'm starting to feel some way about everything. About everything. I don't even want to be bothered with nothing. I don't even know. This earth is just something else. I really don't understand the whole point. When you a seer, you just be, you be isolated. Bro, if you think that be throwing isolation spells on some real shit, you just be extra isolated. You know, shit turn into insulation. Like a motherfucker. But it's, I don't know. This is just a whack, a whack position to be in sometimes. It really is. Because you see so much trash and then people play so many games with you. You know, they always think you're looking into them and just just weird people. You're not weird. But the motherfuckers that perceive you as a certain way because they don't know, you know, they may not have full knowledge of what being a seer is because they're not one. They may think that they are. You know what I'm saying? It just depends. But I don't know. It's just some things I'm questioning. Marriage being one. That's crazy because y'all rule marriage. The seventh house where it was marriage. And I'm just having a hard time. After being married twice, I don't want to be bothered with no man that only see me as a cleanup woman, a mother, you know, they don't know how to cultivate me, you know? Being a human being is just that. Just say, for instance, you get with somebody that's a little bit more spiritually equipped than you are. That has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that he's a man or you're a woman. But for some reason, men tend to think that somebody is too good for them. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to dirty you up. And then women tend to settle for somebody that got hella baggage that they can help unpack. You know what I'm saying? Now it's getting to the point some women, they want them perfect. It's just no such thing. You know what I'm saying? When you get with somebody, you get in with a whole bunch of experiences wrapped in human skin. What was made out of that person through their experiences is pretty much who you're marrying. Now, can we both reverence each other as the human beings that we are, as the divine beings that we are, just the fact that I'm talking, I have eyes, ears, mouth, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm here, okay? I'm here, for real. It's not that hard. Why do you think you're better than somebody or somebody is better than you because they did more work on their junk? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what is that? I don't get it. It's just all, it's just too many games in relationships to me where it makes you not want to do it with anybody unless they really get you. And most people do not get me. I don't know about Charlie, bruh. But baby, when I say misunderstood, I misunderstood by friends no more friends, but the friends I had, family, the family I had, the mates I had. I mean, the misunderstanding is ridiculous because I'm not about to play this game with you. I'm not about to be phony. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to go back and forth, tit for tat. I'm not about to be in this secret competition. I'm not about to act like I don't see what the fuck you're doing. I'm not about to act like I don't see you on some motherfucking trash. I'm not about to act like none of that shit. All I can do is be myself. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like me for me, and you don't know how to be diplomatic for real, and don't know how to properly handle a human experience with another human, then what the fuck, man? Everything is a game with people. Everything. I'm like, especially in America. It's like this motherfucker was founded on games. Games of chance, gambling, all kind of shit. So, I mean, immediately you're thrown in a game by default. I don't want to play no motherfucking games. You know what I'm saying? Then they quit to say it in the song. I know you're tired of the games. Well, why do you keep on playing them? I was reading, the, I was thinking to myself when I went to the store earlier. I'm like, damn, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. I'm like, dang, I'm really in a car talking to myself. I'm like, man, ain't no way. I don't want to be nobody's thing. You know what I'm saying? That's men's problem. They find too many good things. Too many good women that do good head jobs. Good sex. Good cooking. 
good this, good that. Then they be sad. Uh, I'm burnt out on this. I want another. They they live their life like a motherfucking Golden Corral buffet. And then when they finish, they're sick of the both buffet. They're sick of the, the gluttony. Now, okay, now I'm ready for a one-on-one -on -one dinner with somebody for the rest of my life. Can and shit. Once they old and tired as a motherfucker and they had a smorgasbord of bitches. Like, man, don't get your motherfucking ass on. Realization. That shit, why? It is. And a lot of men are just resistant to change. I don't understand why men and women really be with each other because they don't like each other. The past. It's ridiculous. I just said, if a, if a woman tried to do my son... Like, I know some of these women do men because men spend so much time trying to find a good thing and not wife her or wife one so that he can have that one. Now, that's a greedy motherfucker. Have that one, then go out and just cheat with whoever the fuck. Okay? So he just done with everybody. Then he starts to masquerade and fucking anybody all over again. Can he shit? <laughs> like, what the fuck? No, women only want men for one thing. And they discarding of them. No, ain't nobody doing that to my son. If a law see fit that I see my son get somebody, find him a good woman, she better treat him like an awesome human being. He better treat her like an awesome human being. He better treat her with reference, and she better treat him with reference. She better do good by him, and he better do good by her. This ain't no motherfucking one up. This ain't no motherfucking game. These people's hearts, minds, souls that you're playing with. You're going to be judged for that shit, man. Huh? Gross. It's like you got to, you get hurled into that shit by the father. My thing is like, God damn, why you buying it? It found the resting place in you. Somebody telling you to be a player and this and that. It found the resting place. It found good ground and it took root in your motherfucking ass. Eh? If it wasn't a good ground, it wouldn't have took root. And motherfuckers been players for a long time. I think that is so old and outdated. When I think of a player, I think of a dude with like a, a too big suit on trying to fit into 2022, but he's dressing like he in motherfucking 1992. Can't shit. Self-love. Then they go extreme on that. You had a motherfucker that you... They posted this on Instagram. She used her friend's vibrator. Her friend wasn't aware that she used it. She uses it, goes to the doctor to get her annual checkup, and come out with an STD. The friend says, I used it. I, you know, I didn't... Like, she didn't think she would mind kind of shit. Okay, bitch. You're not going to clean it off? You're not going to sterilize it? I don't even know how that works. I don't use those. But I'm just saying, that's crazy crazy. Is that not crazy? And then the, the, the vibrator becomes the boyfriend. You tell me what does it mean? They would rather everybody going to steal guns and vibrators. And this is normal. This this world is live. This is this is this is out of sight. Like man, come on. Discernment. Yeah. Then yeah, somebody comes on my pisses me off. Come on my my um channel when I say God for Virgo. It was a Virgo reading. Maybe some Virgo Libra Pesters on here. Where I say God has need of you in his army. I don't do witchcraft. Witchcraft is of the devil. I do God's work. Why are you on here watching tarot? I went and picked up my Bible, and it God just took me straight to Gad, G-A-D, which was David's personal seer. And he would say, go tell David this. God said this. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, blah, 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 this is to happen to you. Y'all don't do this. You're going to be fucked up, blah, blah, blah. Basically, he like, and David like, make you go tell him, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, like real shit. There's so many keys in the Bible, but people only... Know what their grandmama said. Say. They only know the scriptures that she had on her wall at the house. Okay. Picking it up. 
get into the root, the Latin root words and stuff. Understand? They ain't about to do that. I do that. So why are you telling me about what? Okay. If you feel like witchcraft ain't shit but nature, that's it. A witch, a real witch, that, that ain't on none of that dark shit that I got to do reversals on and feel sick as a motherfucker for trying to get rid of this old weird ass shit. She misuses resources. A real witch don't do shit, but look at the weather. Look at the look at the leaves. Making sure the seasons are in tune. You don't want motherfucking fall happening in summer, because if fall happening in the summer, something is wrong with the human being. And it's gonna end up affecting the animal kingdom and the rest of plant life or nature. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all about all you're doing is observing nature to make sure that shit runs naturally and if anything runs unnaturally you can do something to kind of auto correct it what a motherfucker do in their house you don't know so why are you saying that witchcraft is evil quit giving the devil so much power people get a devil way more power than they give god way more than they ever have ever they fear witchcraft but you with God. Come on, man. You weak. Just say that. You ain't ready for God's army. Just say that. You ain't ready for the scrutiny. You ain't ready for the hatred. You ain't ready for the evil and the darkness and the entities and the motherfucking Leviathans and the dragons is going to be at your ass for saying that you on God's side. You playing with God and you playing Christian. And you playing a follower of Jesus. And that's it. Angel of love. Appreciation. Goddess of the moon. How stupid she look after I said that. But people are really scared of these type of motherfuckers. All the most they can do is kill you. But who want I mean, come on. That's okay. That's cool. Everybody get to die. That's cool. I want to be right with God. I don't want to be scared of no bitch. Misusing resources. That's all they do. Angel of love. See, me I have growth spur. Everybody having these awesome spiritual readings today. Angel of strength. Yeah, some people, yeah, men. Some men are recognizing what they had. Some Libra men may be recognizing what they had or what they have. You'd be so busy. You know? You don't know how to get the fuck out of this shit. Some told you don't fuck with her. Some told you don't go home with her. Some told you don't sleep with her. Women not the only one with the gift of discernment and intuition. Ends up in a whole goddamn war for one night of uh, all right, lady. It wasn't even all like that kind of shit. But it over the whole ass heavy. Mm-hmm. So me is trying to speak up for that stuff. And that's what they should do. Like how long? Some motherfucker been cheating on that person. Just God know where been with them since they was in their twenties. Then decided when they turned 40, they was going to stop. And then when they stop, it's hard for them to cut the cords on who they were because they're known out in the street as a loose nigga or man if you're white. You know what I'm saying? So now they got a damn fight to prove that they're no longer interested in cheating, infidelity. Like, <laughs> What? It be on and popping. When men decide to be faithful, they get the shit. It be more of a test. Man, that shit be crazy. The garden and the gate. Mm -hmm. You just be stuck at home. Some of y'all just be stuck at home because of this shit. He fighting a community of motherfucking hoes because he didn't want to be honest. He wanted to lie. He wanted to not listen to his discernment to tell his ass to go the fuck home and don't touch that bitch. Or bitches. Because now, 
Motherfucker, take a take a take a threesome in a minute. Man, do he don't know none of them. They just want to get down. So what you want to do? Do you want to get down? You know what I'm saying? He be saying yeah, and then be lying though. Knowing damn well his gut saying, oh man, go home. Everybody that has that experience with something till you don't do that and you do it anyway and end up in a whole motherfucking situation. Now you got hostile hoes everywhere. You in a war zone when you just trying to be faithful. And I bet it, I bet it come. I bet it, I bet you. And men do not want to say I was a liar. I was a cheater. Rarely do men do that. And guess what? When men do that, other men say he's a fraud. He's just trying to get some hoes. Like, no. He found out that he was deceiving himself. Okay? He found out that it was a whole last romanticy land. That they thought it was going to be all the time. And he ain't never got the time. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be diplomatic as possible with these hoes. But baby, when I tell you, they show you where they hit for. Because you should have listened. And God just let the storm start raging on your ass. It ain't nothing you can fucking do. Nothing you can do. But deal. Fucking up your money. Be trying to take action. Be trying to see what the fuck you can get through your third eye. What's going on? Something happened. I don't understand. You understand. You should have said put instead of going to get some action tonight. Okay? Now you're in a whole ass situation. I don't like ugly. Just don't. What is so silly ass shit? She playing little girl. You know what I'm saying? Grow up. Shit real. We're trying to raise children with this silly ass mindset. And think every day is supposed to be Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Every day ain't supposed to be no good thing where I'm doing all the work. You ain't helping me wash a dish or wash a pair of underwear or nothing. I'm just doing it all by myself. You deceiving yourself with that shit. Some of y'all better speak up for yourself with that shit because you got me fucked up. You're going to help me. We're going to help each other. We're both going to be taking action. It's not just going to be one person. But then you get women that just choose men for money. They don't care. I don't understand why be bothered with each other when you really don't care. And a man said, I watched this other reel where the man was saying, the girl was saying, she's it's so crazy to her that she when they walk out with their natural hair, no makeup on, looking bummy, whatever, with their yoga pants on, looking just plain Jane, how many, um, how many advances men, you know, give them. Men said, well, shit, the man, one man said, I never heard a man explain why that, you know, but he said it's because they figure you love yourself. You love your own, you coming out of your natural beauty like this, you must love yourself because you're not covering it up with hair, not covering it up with makeup, not covering up with anything. You just out here, that's self-confidence. That says self-love. So if you love yourself, then you ain't going to look for me to make every day goddamn Valentine's Day. It's this old weird ass, soap opera ass, fantasy ass story that we keep, some people keep buying. On some real shit, some people keep buying. Somebody about to get married to somebody if you want to. I don't know, but somebody is going to propose to somebody that mother been telling them to keep their hands off of you, to stay away from you, you this, you that, but had no problem with them fucking goddess of the moon pussies. Sometimes a mama be sitting there playing goddamn devil's advocate all day. So they're going to be like this, handing you a ring. But it's up to you to take it. But somebody is going to ask for somebody's hands in marriage. Whoever watching this, cross watching this, doesn't matter. Somebody mother didn't want them with you. They wanted to. Their mother did not. Their mother was trying to put, put them on with other people. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It could be the way you live your life. I have no idea. But it turned into a whole fucked up situation where diplomacy definitely had to be used in order for nobody to end up dead. Can't shit. 
Now she said it's cool. It depends. I don't know the situation. I don't know the experience. It could be a family with money. And they feel like, look, I'm going to choose who, even though they fucked up in the head, and who they choosing is totally not appropriate for, you know, a marriage. Because the energies in this community card is energies that think everything is romantic land. You know, I don't want, personally, me, as a mother of a boy, I don't want a broad calling me to tell me about what my son doing. I want my son's wife, God willing, to call me to see how I'm doing. To see if I need anything. To hook up, link up, go to the movies, get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Some women just use a mother as a, like she's a, the priest or they run her like tattletelling on the summer. Like, what? You fucked up. To me, that's that's a marriage headed for a straight disaster. This, this right here. Tower like a motherfucker. My mother didn't know shit that was going on in my motherfucking marriage. And I damn sure ain't called none of my husband's mothers. To tell them about how trifling the nigga was. You think they don't know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some real shit. You think they don't know? That's how you get enemies in your camp. Talking too much. Trying to be controlling. Trying to play God. You know? And black people especially. We do not understand the science of mating. There's a science to mating. There's a science to marrying. If there's no compatibility, I don't give a fuck if you want him with a church girl and not a Muslim. I don't give a fuck if you want him with a Muslim and not a Christian. I don't give a fuck if you want him with a Buddhist and not a goddamn Catholic. You know what I'm saying? You don't matter in matters of the heart and stay out of it. But no. Oh, no. People stay here. I'm talking about stirring the shit pot. You be saying, God damn. Somebody got some money. That's all. Okay. And. Mind your business. Lady. I don't know. This ain't get a fair deal. So y'all better make it real plain. You know what I'm saying? This is the seventh house. This is seven of pentacles. Y'all motherfucker better get to the root before you just say yes, okay? I know they gonna set it out too. It's gonna be real nice. <laughs> but I'm just saying, weigh the pros and the cons. If you using your discernment, and something telling you that a divine masculine or your divine mate is about to ask your hand in marriage or whatever the case, or you getting a feeling that his family is messy, even if you ain't met him, something ain't sitting right, something, I don't know, mama may be a little bit messy, messy, something ain't right, y'all know. You better get to the root of that shit. So you're not going in blindly thinking everything is fucking romanticy land. Everybody's going to get along. It's never going to be a tower. It's never going to be no bitches you got to check. You know what I'm saying? Everything's always going to be lovely. Like, no. Think of the worst case scenario before you get married and then say I do. For real. Because you're going to get tested like a motherfucker, baby. It ain't going to stop. Sometimes the storm is just these hoes. Let me alone, Becky. You know what I'm saying? And they be for real. Let me alone. I see the benefit of fidelity. I see my money growing. And I'm not spending it all over the place. I'm not having to tell lies. You know what I'm saying? I can speak and be myself. Real shit. I can talk to my woman about anything. Tell her the time I had a threesome. Tell her the bros that tried to talk to me today. Tell her the bro that I saw that was a little fine today. If it was, you know, I was still doing my thing. I, that kind of situation. Which some of y'all are. Angelic energies. And some of y'all, I hope some of these brothers to grow. But sometimes, man, this be too much shit. And don't deceive yourself. This is going to be rainbows and butterflies. No, you got to understand diplomacy. You got to speak up for yourself. You got to be fair. You got to be direct when you're dealing with motherfuckers in a marriage. 
Marriage is not no game. Okay? It's definitely a storm warning because it's a 10 and this is a 10. Somebody about to ask for y'all hand in marriage if they haven't already. As soon as they did, shit got to stirring up. Where they told somebody they was going to marry you, something, something, and it's a community of hoes stirring the fuck up. I mean, you're like, where he's like, who the fuck am I? Who the fuck is this girl? You know what I'm saying? Like, when the fuck? When the fuck they saying you wanted to marry somebody, land you in a whole ass tower every five fucking minutes. Some of them fuck with y'all. Yeah. Y'all be feeling sick, crying. Can't, yeah. All these motherfuckers up here. It's these motherfuckers right here. Okay. Okay. Some of y'all divine masks going to be like this. About ready to knock hoes out. Women. Because they just keep on. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. Some of y'all was born in 1978. 1970. 1980. 1990. Chuck Rock. It's always a song coming by. Yeah, good cups. Yeah, man. They may be sending you healing light because they already know. That's this one up here, the light. You know? They just send you bad vibes, bad juju. They hate you. They don't even know you. You know? They don't even know you. On oh, some real shit. That's real. Y'all ain't got all no money like that. Y'all ain't got no money all like that. Some of y'all helped this person to see that they was living a fucking lie. And they was in an illusion. They need to wake the fuck up. And you got attacked. You're getting attacked for that. For really teaching them what relationships is all about. What's, what's, what's toxic for real. And not just saying that shit because you heard it on a meme or somebody else said it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to end up getting pregnant. So just know marriage is not a game. Do not go in that shit thinking you about to come up with a skit and dance like Beyonce. And after the reception is y'all gonna stay in romanticy land no it's gonna get tough immediately for real y'all be having to tune in to each other because people be doing shit hurling shit and some of y'all sick of being in separation because it's holding up your money sector because what you want to do you it's with this person it's tied up with this person but this person was tied up in the bed with a lot of people that God told him don't touch and he touched them anyway. And he in a whole last situation because they're attacking you and he know that. Some of y'all may have had a miscarriage. <laughs> did somebody come care about you or did you just have to go in and suck it up, buttercup? You know what I'm saying? Okay, we'll equate that to a marriage. It ain't always going to be this either. Should be rocky as a motherfucker. I wish people would stop painting these false-ass narratives of marriage. That shit is so toxic. Why like you are about to die every day to yourself. And you're going to feel like a fool too, okay? And it's what you make of it. It's what you create. That's the fun and the beauty of marriage. It's actually what two people create. So whatever you create, that's what you fuck you. That's what, that's what two people create. You take two to tango. It ain't never always the man or the man fault. And it ain't never always the woman fault. People be lying, lying. Okay? On some real shit. One motherfucker wasn't always all good. And one motherfucker wasn't always all bad. It's just not humanly possible. However, when your stormy days start outweighing your sunny days by a landslide, then you got fucking problems, okay? Some of these people was married before to just messy-ass women, and they had a messy-ass marriage, and it's just a messy-ass situation, you know what I'm saying? They worried about this, him giving you money. That's all. They ain't worried about shit else. Not even the sex, because they, they so gone in their head. Like, how do you think he wants you after you doing all this and showing out like this about one person that he decided that he want to settle down and marry or be with? 
You know you can't get him back in the bed. So what is this hostility? Where's all this anger coming from? Because he ain't sleeping with you. He about ready to knock your head off your shoulders. But then again, that shows the type of situation. It wasn't no diplomacy. It wasn't no, it wasn't no maturity. It wasn't no fairness. It was just, just debauchery. Lies. Bullshit. Chaos. Silly shit. Eddie finally letting go. You know what I'm saying? They wanted that money. That's why the Page of Pentacles came out. Yeah. This shit want to come out in reverse. Stop lying and telling stories so much. They done stop lying because it came out in reverse. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all can't have a new beginning. You can't create no alchemy or no magic because there's too many lies. And nobody want to come clean and tell the motherfucking truth. And y'all smell that shit. And y'all know that's the reason you can't have no new beginning because too many motherfuckers lying. In your business, motherfucker, you don't even know. Y'all be sitting like this. Ain't but so much you can do. You know, growth was the first thing that came up. So y'all be, you know, worried about your motherfucking self. But it's agitating to have somebody just hovering like this because they really trying to get to the root of their problems before they come offering you some shit. But, I mean, why not work the root of your problems out with your person? It's not romanticy land. You're not perfect. And you're never going to be. Like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing it alone? It makes no sense. You know? It really does. They wait to have growth. Like, man, and you still at the three? Motherfuckers can't get up off this three. And now, they at a two. Because uh, this came up in reverse. What the fuck is sickness and health for? They accepted how stupid they is then, for real. Like, you your own worst enemy. The player always gets played. Always. Because life is not a game. Who told you that? Yeah, man. I mean, he just dealing with mad bitches. Just how, this is a hostility card and a whole nother day. I wrote on there myself. Same motherfucking energy. You know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> just, the, this is the root problem, Divine Femme, of why you in separation. That so many women hate you and really are using their discernment to see that he in love with somebody else. One thing the motherfuckers can't smell, baby, is love. And that's why they probably put some of y'all in the miscarriage. And he had to accept it. You know, he probably ain't even talk to you. He ain't say nothing to you. You still in separation. Ain't talk to him. Called every now and then or talk to him here and there, but it ain't shit. And this person wanna hold ass marry you. This is crazy, right? I don't know, y'all. I do not know. And they won't knock it off. They won't. They want you to be patient. <laughs> Why they handle hoe after hoe after hoe that don't see you now. They know you are reality, but they also know that y'all in separation. So they always, they like this too. This is what this fucking bimbo of a man, whoever y'all divine masculine is, he don't know. They ain't giving up either because they don't see the reality of what he's saying. Who is this girl? Some of them don't even know who you are. Some of them do, but they still ain't giving up, okay? It's the dick Olympics. Told you all that. I'm gonna pop three more, then we get a butter. Then we get a butter. All facts. It's true. And then he like this. I'm just tired. Like, right, get your motherfucking ass up. That's what fathers came on a reading yesterday. He said, it's no quitting every five fucking minutes when it's all the fuck you want. And as soon as he comes to this reality and get his ass out of these stupid ass, petty ass, distractive ass, hostile ass environments with these hoes, then guess what happens? He'll start turning a profit and that ace of wands turns right back. He back to a three. Right now, he just had a two of wands waiting for some shifts to come in, come in that ain't coming in. They not. You already done lost one wine waiting for ships to come in. You added two of wines. 
That fan into a while to see how stupid he's looking now to buy a fan. Then I'm gonna get a part of her. Of course. Of course. Determined to do what? Lose? Every time he get up one, he get right back into some hostile shit. Every time he think he gonna get himself together before he come present himself to you, whatever that's about, he gonna keep getting knocked down. And it's God doing it to show him, listen, I created man for woman and woman for man. You need to get some understanding, motherfucker. You need her. She shall help me. She's gonna help you grow. Just like you're gonna help her grow. Why do you think you can do it by yourself? And why are you hovering over her? Why are you antagonizing her? Why are you not reaching out? Why are you acting like a wimp? For real. Man the fuck up. Because you're ridiculous right now. And I created you first. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now they ain't like. Let's see, Divine Femme. Leave in the comments on the next reading. And tell me if he came through with a wedding ring. And a bunch of drama to match it. Don't forget that. Do not forget that. It's not going to be a bed of roses every day. It's not. Go ahead and swallow it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to go on your little lunch dates and shit like that. It's going to be fun. Fun, fun. However, don't forget that the Three of Swords will always be in the mix. Some way, somehow, when you say, I do. All right, Libra, love and light.